Microphone check, one, two, one, two. This is your host, not son, baby. And this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. You know, I want to talk about the reason why lifestyle parties have rules. You know, the purpose of having rules at lifestyle parties, at swing parties, you feel me? And, you know, you have couples, they have their own rules. They have their own code of conduct amongst themselves. And I hope their rules... Are abided by. I have. I hope couples have their rules in order because we don't want any drama and bullshit and fuckery at lifestyle parties because couples don't have their motherfucking rules together. You feel me? You you need to have an understanding between your mate before you go to a swing party, before you go to a lifestyle party, before you go to a meet and greet. You need to have your do's and don'ts in order, and you have to respect your do's and don'ts because the worst thing that can happen. You know, somebody in a couple or in a poly, they violate their rule and then, you know, some shit goes down, down, down. You know, it's it's, it's like a fucking war between lovers because somebody want to be a creep. You know, somebody want to do their thing, thing. Somebody want to go so low without realizing that, you know, it's a partnership. So that's one part of having rules and code of conduct and etiquette at a swing party, at a lifestyle function or meet and greet or whatever the case. And then you have the party host or the group owner who have their own rules and regulations that they say before drop down. Uh, excuse me, dress down rather, before dress down. You know, of course you got to let that drop down. Ow. You know, I got to write the first time, man. But fuck all that. You know, you have the party host or the group owner or whatever the case, they say the rules before dress down and that's usually at midnight. You know, the freeze come out at night. The freeze come out at night. You know what I'm saying? Check out that song by Woudini. But anyway... You know, at, at midnight, because the freaks come out at night, man, and we're about to get down and dirty. So you have the the hosts, you know, they read out the rules or they, they say the rules off the top of their head. You know, so people at the party could have an understanding about what is allowed and what is not allowed. You know, for an example, you know, ask before touching because just because we're at a swinger party that doesn't mean that you could touch anybody you know when you see somebody fucking in one of the playrooms give them three feet you know i shouldn't have to spread my arms and i could touch you and not only that shut the fuck up when i'm getting my nut when you see me blowing this chick's back out like you don't have to commentate you don't have to coach me about fucking i i know how to i know how to beat them cheeks you feel me? I don't need a play-by-play -play from you. Just voyeur in peace. Like, I shouldn't have to know you're there. And, you know, of course, discard your condoms. And, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. But, you know, humans make simple shit complicated. But for the most part, you know, what separates lifestyle parties from fuck parties is that there's a culture. You know, there's a, there's a culture of, of conduct of how you should conduct yourself. It's an etiquette. You feel me? It's about, you know, everyone moving on one accord because without order, there's chaos and everybody feel like, you know, they could do any and everything they want just because sex is involved. And that's not the case. You know, yes, sex is the foundation, but, you know, the rules and the code of conduct is to make sure that the house doesn't fall because the foundation it's not strong and the rules and regulations and the code of conduct is to make sure that the house is, is the foundation is strong. So the house, which is the party itself, won't crumble, metaphorically speaking. But to put it in layman's terms, you know, we want to make sure that people are safe within their environment, you know, within their sexual expression. We want to make sure that people are safe. We want to make sure that people are comfortable. We want to make sure that people don't have to worry about somebody fucking up their groove because somebody want to be a creep and somebody want to be a jerk. And that's up to the group owners, the party hosts to ban anybody who disrespect those rules, whether it's the house rules or the couple's rules, or even amongst individuals, because individuals, single men and single women, they have their own rules as well. You know, ask before you touch. You know, if, if you see a couple, 
and you're interested in playing with one of them, one of they ma their mate, then ask their significant other if it's okay. You know, some couples, they don't have a problem with you not asking them, but as a universal etiquette, it's good to ask somebody significant other so there won't be no drama. But then again, even if the person and the couple gives you their blessings to play with their mate, Sometimes they change their motherfucking mind when they seeing you getting it in with their mate. They like, hold up, er, hold up. Like, you know, she wasn't sucking my dick like that or he wasn't eating my pussy like that. You know, a little jealousy comes in, but that's that's not a dime a dozen. You know, a lot of swing couples, they get off on seeing their significant other getting fucked. You feel me? So, you know, I want to recap right quick. You know, the reason why. There are rules at lifestyle parties is to distinguish the swinger lifestyle from fuck parties because it's not one big orgy. You know, you have different types of people who come to swinger lifestyle parties since it's more commercialized. You got your voyeurs. You know, they just want to watch. They want to get their creep on. Then you have couples who have their own rules. Then you have singles who have their own rules. You know, so... Pretty much a, a swinger lifestyle party is pretty much a social event with the with the chances of you getting your nut. You feel me? Because you know, everywhere on the planet got their own rules. Everywhere there's a there's a law everywhere. You got a laws of gravity. You know, you got the laws of physics, and you also have the laws of the swinger lifestyle. And yes, it's about sexual liberation. Excuse me, sexual liberation. Let me say that right. Sexual liberation. And, and yes, it's about sexual expression. But at the same time, you know, you cannot infringe on other people's freedoms. You can't be a fucking savage when somebody doesn't want you to be a savage because everybody has their own limits and everybody freak level is not the same. So you have to be respectful of your fellow man and you got to be respectful of your fellow woman and you got to be respectful towards yourself by not playing yourself and getting kicked the fuck out of a party because you do not how to control your urges. You feel me? And you know, it's for everybody, whether it's the newbies, whether it's the veterans, everybody has to abide by these rules. And once again, that what separates swing lifestyle parties from fuck parties, pretty much. You know, anybody can have a fuck party, but everybody can have a swing up party. I'm going to say that again. Anybody can have a fuck party, but everybody can have a swing party, especially when you don't have couples. You understand? And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this year, excuse me, I need to eat some pussy so I won't get tongue tied. Anywho, this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, not some, baby. Yeah, I got that right. Ow. Hit up my website at www.notsomeblaze.com. That's www. N-A-H-S-U-N-B-L-A-Z-E.com and check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them, The Swinging Manifesto. Go get it, you know? It's good because I wrote it. Ow. And you know, shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. And hit me up with any questions and or concerns that you may have. And on that note, until next time, peace.